Hi there, Chris here. In this video here, I have six tips on meetings. Yes, we've all been in meetings, have we not? We've been in some great meetings and maybe some not so great meetings. So in the next columns, I'm gonna share with you six tips on what I believe are great uh, snippets to follow in sense of having a purposeful and productive meeting. Here we go. You've all heard it before, preparation is the key. If you can prepare in advance for your meeting, so much the better. Circulate the previous minutes, circulate the position paper, circulate the hot topics for debate, ensure everyone comes to the meeting prepared and that we're not rooting around, talking about the content or talking about the proposal. You've actually all engaged and geared up and with the self-respect and discipline in the meeting form that you have showed you are prepared. This is absolutely pivotal in meetings. If you are not clear on your purpose as to why you're getting in the room, you really need to think again. So be clear on your purpose of that interaction, that 60 to 90 minutes with those guys and gals, which might be five grand off the bottom line. What is the purpose of that interaction? What goals and objectives are we setting as an outcome of the meeting? Pivotal, write the agenda, big letters. Our purpose is to devise our, finalize our sales forecast, whatever it is. Be clear on your purpose, goals and objectives. So as a meeting chair, it's often wise to set the rules of the game. And what I mean by that is how are you gonna conduct the meeting? Who speaks? I like one voice at a time. No chitter chatter, no break off groups. These are the rules of the engagement and of the game. When you set your stance clearly at the start of the meeting, everyone's clear as to what's acceptable and what isn't. You may say, look, we're gonna think above the line here, guys. We're gonna think optimistically, enthusiastically, and creatively. No blame, excuse, denials in this meeting. I'm sure you've been in some howlers, have you not, where meetings are just dribbling on and on and on, and it's a complete blamange, and the blamange is generated often, but not always, through the lack of focus and discipline of the chair. Now, chairing takes skill, it takes habit to enact that skill in the after street, to chair the meeting, give everyone a voice, but then saying to the guys, look guys, we've got to move on, we've got a schedule to get through here. So focus and discipline in the chair is key to keeping the energy up in the meeting as well, without people dying in the meeting. Keeping the energy and the enthusiasm, let's move on and get through. A short, punchy meeting is a good meeting in my experience. It's critical to clarify and articulate through words and then through subsequent minutes. What do we actually learn from this meeting and what are we going to do next and by when and also who is accountable? In a meeting there can be a haze of words and opinions and conjecture but you've got to filter that down into the key nuggets of action and then hold team members to account in the subsequent meeting. So in tune with that last note there is the minutes. Now the minutes don't have to be war and peace and ideally they're on half a page or maybe one page tops. I like the who, what, when, why. That easy, who, when, what, why. What are we doing and by when? What are the key actions? I've seen lots of minutes in my career where the verbosity just puts everyone to sleep. Don't do it, just name the key actions. In fact, if you can get the team members to articulate their actions in their own words, so much the better. You confirm and reflect in the meeting and you minute that action. Okay, there we have it. Six short tips on running effective meetings. I hope you've taken something away from that today. I'll see you soon.